A year ago, Martin Truex Jr. was debating if to return to Cup. Now he's coming off his second victory of the season, Sunday at Sonoma Raceway, and he's the points leader. So I'll bring in my NBC Sports colleagues, Jeff Burton and Kyle Petty, for the discussion. I'll start with you, Jeff. What have we seen in this turnaround of Martin Truex Jr.? Well, let, let's let's talk about the turnaround first. I mean, the turnaround meaning that he didn't win a race last year. Uh, they they finished fourth in regular season points and did not make the playoffs because we because we had so many winners last year. A very odd thing. Uh, but you think about Martin Truex Jr. Since 2016, I made the argument he's been the best driver in the series. Four out of those six years, he's finished first and second in points. He has 30 wins, which is more than everybody else. Uh, this guy at this point in his career is is at his best. Uh, now he has two wins this year. He won the the race in uh, the Clash and, and, and at the Coliseum. Uh, you know, so off of a bad year and bad year being a year where they just couldn't execute and win a race, but finished fourth in regular season points. Uh, that's a bad year that a lot of people would love to have. Uh, now they got their confidence. I think they feel like he and he and James Smalls. They now are pushing each other in the right way. I think there's a real belief in each other. They're seeing results, and uh, results matter. And so, yeah, I think this this team is a real championship contender. This was the kind of race that Martin excels in. You had to be smart. You had to be fast. That's Martin does those two things really well, and I just really feel good about where Martin and this team are right now. Yeah, listen, I, I said it on, on Nate Ryan's podcast on NBC. Um Martin Truex has won 33 of the most boring races in NASCAR history because when he wins, he just drives away from the field. Uh, that's just what he does. That's, that's the way he does it. I went on record last year as saying, you know, once a driver starts to contemplate leaving the sport, uh, they're not who they were. Um, and, that, and that's where I believe Martin was last year when, when he went and kept waffling, am I going to come back? Am I going to stay? Um, in the rear view mirror, looking back at it, obviously Martin had – uh, things going on in his personal life. And I know it's hard for race fans to believe that NASCAR drivers have a personal life outside of that race car. Uh, but he had things going on that maybe the focus wasn't 100% last year. The focus is there this year. Uh, I look at this team and I think they could have won maybe four, maybe five races. I threw Richmond into that mix uh, with, with the pit call they made there uh, that kind of took them out of it. But I, I think they they could be uh, more than, than, a, than a two-time winner and, and three-time winner, whatever. Um, I, I just think that he is spot on. He's where he needs to be. He's where he's, he needs to be mentally and focused. And, and I think he, he and James, they're in the right place. Um, and I think yesterday showed that. So what to make of the, the victory by Truex on Sunday at Sonoma? He led 51 of 110 laps. But again, uh, you know, we know how bad Toyota was last year, and particularly at this track. And, and the work that they put in, they get Tyler Reddick to come over from, from Chevrolet. So that helps. Tyler Reddick wins at Coda. So now Toyota's won the first two road course races. You've got the Chicago Street Race coming up in July 2nd on NBC. You've still got Indianapolis and Watkins Glen coming up. So what do we make of, is this true X, is this Toyota? And what does this mean going forward, especially with some of these street road course races coming up? And Kyle, I'll go with you first. So I think it's all of them. I think it's the collective group. Um, I think when you when you introduce a new car to a series like we did last year, you can't say, well, Toyota was bad last year, so they're going to be bad this year. That's not Toyota. That's not Ford. That's not Chevy. That's not any manufacturer. If they're off one year, they're going to come back strong the next year. Uh, and the drivers are the same way. A driver doesn't want to be remembered by what happened last year. And, and, and you know, Jeff talks about he finished fourth in points failed to win a race. He didn't want to be remembered by that. That's not who Martin, Martin Troy, the way Martin Truex wants to leave. So I think collectively um, they have upped their game a little bit. And, you know, when, when everybody looks at themselves and says, it's not just the car, it's not just the driver, it's not the manufacturer, it's not, it's a little bit of all of us and they all go to work. Then I think we see results like we've seen out of the Toyota camp uh, where they were weak last year. They're strong on those tracks this year. Yeah, it's much like the Ford conversation that, that we've been having this year. You know, is it a team issue or is it a manufacturer issue? Is it a combination of all of it? Uh, most likely, it's it's never one of those things. Rarely do teams run poorly somewhere because of one problem. Typically, it's a multitude of problems. Uh, and like Kyle said, in, in, a, in a new year last year where 
uh, everybody, the teams, the drivers, the, the manufacturers were all taxed and, okay, how are we going to make this new car work? How does our simulation work? All those kind of things. Like there was an opportunity for the people to run really bad or really well. Uh, and there's also an opportunity to, for that to reverse this year because teams are learning more. They're advancing more. Uh, the technology is advancing. Uh, experience is advancing. So just because you went to Sonoma last year and ran well or went to Nashville last year and ran well, that doesn't mean you're going to run well this year because everybody else has a plan too. You know, your competition, they have a plan too, and they're out trying to make their stuff better. And you don't know if you've advanced as much as you need to. You could have a better race car than you did last year and run worse because your competition stepped up the game even more. And I think that we are seeing that in the second year of this car. The learning curve is so steep and there's people are still drinking through a funnel, like a big, big funnel. And there's so much information, like we could see massive swings between now and when the playoffs start. Uh, it, it's just so much happening so quickly. Well, and 10 races remain until the playoffs start, and you'll be able to watch all that on NBC and USA, beginning with Nashville on June 25th on NBC, followed by Chicago, big one-two double hitter of a big cities and iconic events coming up on NBC. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.